Hello and welcome to this video about plant organs and tissues. We discussed in the previous video about tissues, organs and organ systems in animals um, but you also need to know about the tissues in plants and the names of them are very different. So if you remember in um, animals the three tissues that you need to know about are glandular, epithelial and uh, muscular. The three tissues that you need to know about um, in the plant are epidermal, mesophyll and the xylem and phloem. Now some people get this one confused because it looks a lot like the epithelial tissue in the animal but this is epidermal but essentially they do a very um, similar function because the epidermal tissue covers the plant. So we'd find that um, over here, for example, the upper epidermis or the epidermal tissue here, and also at the bottom where it's covering the plant. And this is actually um, a section of a leaf, which we'll come to in a minute. The second tissue that you need to know about is the mesophyll, and this has a really important role. Um, this carries out photosynthesis. And finally, the xylem and phloem, which transport substances around the plant. And it's the xylem that transports water and the phloem that transports nutrients. I tend to remember that because the X and the W um, are far on in the alphabet. The xylem carries the water and the phloem carries the nutrients around the plant. Now all of these three tissues then work together um, in an organ and the organ that you need to focus on is the leaf. Now there are several plant organs, um, for example the, the stem, the roots for example, or the leaf. Um, but we're going to focus here on the cross section of a leaf because that's where you find all these three um, plant tissues. So the diagram to a leaf can look really complex um, and we need to be a little bit resilient because the diagram that you might look at for your vision might not be exactly the same as the one they draw in the leaf. So first of all we've got the epidermal layer like we've discussed covering the top of the leaf. And that epidermal layer tends to um, perform the function of keeping in any moisture because um, the, the water leaving the leaf is controlled by these stomata at the bottom. Now below that is the really complex layer which is the mesophyll and this is split into two layers. We've got the, um, I'll highlight it here because it's not very really bigger, we've got the palisade layer and that is full of palisade cells so all of these cells going around here are palisade cells cover these in the specialized cells topic they're um, rectangular regular shape so loads of them can pack in just under that epidermal layer and as you can see they are absolutely full of chloroplasts full of chloroplasts This is obviously really important because chloroplasts contain that chlorophyll which absorbs the sunlight and this is where photosynthesis happens. So we said here that the mesophyll layer is where photosynthesis takes place. The main structure of it up the top here is this layer of tightly packed palisade cells. So they're regular in shape so that they can be tightly packed and also they're full of chloroplasts for photosynthesis. The second half of the mesophyll layer is something called the spongy mesophyll. And here the cells are arranged a little differently. They've still got chloroplasts in them, but as you can see, there's areas where there are quite large gaps between the cells. Here, sorry, get another pen. Here. Here, here, you can see loads of gaps in the mesophyll layer, and this is really important for 
photosynthesis as well so we'll just put here gaps between cells why this is important because it allows gaseous exchange because you want the carbon dioxide to be able to reach the cells for photosynthesis and you also want the oxygen to be able to um, be released from those cells so these gaps between the cells here help gaseous exchange which essentially is just the movement of gases um, between these stomata perhaps where the, the gases might want to move in and out um, up to the cells and back out again so carbon dioxide can go in through these stomata to the cells and if it was tightly packed here it'd be really difficult for it to work its way through to the cells but these gaps in the mesophyll layer um, allow this now these then really complex this um, um, mesophyll layer but you need to know how it's specifically adapted for photosynthesis so try and get those um, idea about the palisade layer and the spongy layer into your memories okay so we've talked about the epidermal layer and the mesophyll layer in the leaf now i just want to talk about xylem and phloem so i just got a fresh diagram to, to help um, show the xylem and phloem on here because at the moment they're not drawn on um, but you need to be aware that in your diagram that you get in an exam they could be um, positioned anywhere in that kind of um, spongy mesophyll layer and essentially what you're looking for is a tubular structure so for example it could be could have been positioned here and you'd have the xylem which are the vessels here and then the phloem so if we'd have the xylem there and then the phloem just drawn underneath and that would be extending back as a long vessel through the plant okay so just look out for a tube the structure that's different to the other cells in the mesophyll layer you might also see it um, as like a actual cross section which sometimes puts people off so it could for example be going through there and you would see again the xylem vessels and then the uh, phloem vessels going through there with where it looks like a semicircle where it's had a cross section through it so you do need to be a little bit resilient with that um, and just look for if you have to label a diagram for a tubular structure and the xylem and phloem are contained together in that one tubular structure so i said before we need to be um, aware of the fact that you might get a different diagram in your test so for example you might not get a 3d diagram you might get a diagram that looks a little bit like this with um, your epidermal layers and then you might have the palisade cells like this the spongy mesophyll to allow the gases to diffuse through and then perhaps um, the xylem and phloem vessel in there as well in a more of a 2d format so just bear in mind that you might not you might get a diagram like this absolutely but similarly you might also get a 2d structure of the leaf that you'd have to um, label as well the epidermal layers there the mesophyll here and then the xylem and phloem just down there so just in summary then the uh, plants have organs too um, the one that you need to know about is the leaf and you need to remember these three main tissues in the leaf the epidermal layer which helps to um, protect the plant it's really thin it, it still lets the light through um, to the because uh, that's really important that light still gets through to these palisade cells but it, it's just a thin layer just to prevent um, water loss you've got the mesophyll layer that's really important for photosynthesis with the palisade cells full of chloroplasts spongy mesophyll which allows the gases to diffuse through um, and back out again and the xylem and the phloem for transport if you found this video useful then please press the like button below and feel free to subscribe to um, watch 
some more revision videos. Thanks for watching.